The only trouble is it's a little wet out here. Running the tractor in the water is not the best idea. Hey there, welcome back to the homestead. More specifically, I should say the driveway of the homestead. Um, this week, uh, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I don't know why I keep putting it off. Maybe it's because I didn't have any time, <laughs> but now I do. So I am working on getting ready for gravel. Uh, the last time I grow this was graveled, I couldn't tell you. So it's getting all muddy and stuff. When you get out of the car, you just track mud inside the house and it's just, just no good, not fun. The kids like to play in the mud. It's great, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work in a couple of days. So let's get started. We'll start down at the bottom, work our way up. The, so this is the gate. And one of the things I wanna work on is this is the ditch. All the water from that hillside kind of rolls on down and gets in here. And then the driveway is slightly sloped this way, so all the water that lands on the driveway rolls off that way. I'm probably not gonna dig it all out because that's a lot of work and I don't have that much time. There's some spots where like rocks had rolled in there. Over here, there's a big old rock in the ditch. Gotta get that out. So this is the hilly portion of the driveway. That down there towards the gate is a little flatter and then it starts climbing up uh, fairly steep. There's kind of a glare there. All the water is coming down the hill here and it just kind of runs across. You can see how kind of wet it is and then makes it into the ditch. What I want to try and do is from up there grade this, tilt it this way just a little bit and try and get that water to go that way rather than across that way. The only trouble is it's a little wet out here. Running the tractor in the water is not the best idea, but I'll give it a try and see what I can do. So that's where we just were, where the gravel or where the water's kind of flowing that way. And then this is the somewhat flat, little sloped, but right now it's tapered this way. Over the years, I've been trying to crown it a little bit, but it, it seems to work out pretty well. Most of the water goes here. I'm not gonna mess with this too much because it's always been pretty good. In this section right here, grass is starting to creep its way in. I just kinda wanna scrape it off, bring it into here. And then one of the last things I want to do, I'm getting a larger gravel. The stuff that's here now is like three quarter with fines. Um, not a very large rock. I'm getting inch and a half uh, minus or inch and a half with fines. Hey, Schmoke. And then I want to come through here and kind of dig this out so that it's not just level gravel with the walkway. That way the new gravel will have somewhere to sit down in there rather than just sitting on top and rolling down the driveway or the walkway. And then I got to clean all this up, move the trailers, uh, clean some stuff up on the other side of the trailer. So yeah, let's get started.
sun's starting to go down. Looks like I made a mess. <laughs> but it's pretty muddy. Hopefully the wife can get up and down the driveway before we get the gravel. Hopefully it dries out too. All that water from the ditch when I threw it over it just made a muddy mess. So Then I raked it off the edge because it was spilling out of the gannon box. So let me clean this up and uh, I think I'll call it a day for today and continue on with the prepping for gravel tomorrow. That's my coffee over here. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, day two. Actually, I think I did pretty good yesterday. My back hurts. Yeah, I've <laughs> been watching kids for a whole week and uh, now uh, digging some ditches. That gets your back a little uh, sore, but got to just move it and it'll work itself out. So, let's take a look at what I did, see how bad the muddy mess is, and take a look at what I plan on doing today. It's bad. All right, so today I wanna to work on this little section. Try and tilt it back this way, keep the water from going that way. So, hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. <laughs> it seems to be drying out a little bit, but uh, it's a little gooey. Hopefully the wife can get up and down it. Hopefully I can get up and down it. I should be okay. <laughs> well, yeah, cut this out. Try and send the water out that way a little bit. Scraped it up, made a good mess, but uh, I think it'll do. As long as it doesn't rain before we get the gravel, I think we'll be all right. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see it. Looks like it, uh, it's just slightly tilted this way. So hopefully all the water from here hits this and just runs down. And then what I did do down there, we'll go check it out real quick. So what I did here was take all the dirt from the, when I cut this edge here tilted and just pushed it down this way, put it in my fill dirt pile over here. Then I had some berms where those trees are back there, and I just took the berm material and kind of cleared it out. That way the water didn't just back up against the berms and then come back into the road. It Hopefully it'll just kind of flow off down the hillside there rather than in the road, which is what we don't want. So I'm fairly satisfied with this. If it dries out a little bit more between now and gravel, I'll probably just touch it up really quick before we get gravel. Last thing I gotta do before the wife leaves to get her hair did, and then I gotta watch the kids, but I wanna just drag the edge of the 
um, the driveway going up towards the house. And then I think I'll call it a day and hang out with the fam. Looks like I got a couple minutes before the wife leaves, so uh, get started on cleaning this up. 